Ravenholm. Ravenholm, Ravenholm. Welcome back to Jimrism. You're watching Gary's Mod Map Review Wednesdays. And this time we are checking out the pre-war Ravenholm by our Riley SV. So this one was very what? Remove barriers and add new areas. I guess we're pressing that button. Okay, I didn't notice that one before. But anyways, we have some different uh, spawn points. Shore point base, uh, train tunnel at mine entrance, and Black Mesa East, Central Tunnel Ravenholm, and stuff like that. So, if we spawn in this thing, this area, we have the shore point here. So, it is basically Ravenholm, but everything is just fine. Nothing is broken. Everything is kind of clean. And, ooh, we even have a little soda machine. And here we have the shore point. We got like fresh vehicles and yeah, I just like this map uh, so much already because it's just so uh, clean and nice. Okay, All these dirty and old, well like torn assets, they are gone and we are just back to this smooth area. And we're walking around inside the corridors because uh, it uses kind of um, a rendering technique, so we won't have problems when we look at uh, this map. Um, like everything is not visible all at once, but it has like functional assets like this, and that's just so cool. Like we can just check around here. Have we seen this now? It's it's just a beautiful little small town area. And we even have the uh, church up there and some beautiful path, uh, greenery, industrial town. Everything looks very clean and nice, except my player character that stands there. In any case, I think this is a great cleaned up pre-war version of Ravenholm because you could always see that Ravenholm was a very beautiful uh, city but um, due to the zombie thing it doesn't look very good anymore. Yeah, so let us let us check around a little bit more here so we can get a feel of how this Ravenholm looks like and I'm wondering like what's up with this thing. And it's uh, it was released a year ago, so it's 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 been around for a while. I'm a little bit curious. Okay, what's up with that? So we obviously have another side of the map here, and I don't know why this graveyard is not. Is it connected by a? Oh. We're connected via this. I see. Now that won't work. But anyways, beautiful little area here. But of course, um, the most interesting part is probably this area. Or no, I was uh, completely wrong. Uh, I'm, I'm just lost. This interesting <laughs> little map which is just all those Ravenholm areas merged together in a very cool way, makes for a great labyrinth. So um, just walking around and checking out this map will basically keep you pretty lost um, in minutes. I'm sure you'll recognize a lot of the areas and assets and one can really tell it is indeed Ravenholm, but the nice version the zombie free version and yeah just like that and it's just built in a way so one can like remember seeing the area before but like it's obviously not it it's just so 
clean and nice, but still getting completely lost. Uh, it's just like the original Ravenholm. One can just walk around and yeah, where am I? No idea. So if we take a little look at this area from above, we can see here is like, um, I believe where you kind of come from and just go down and there is the elevator which you go up here into this little shed and here we have Ravenholm and there is like this probably remember this and zombies and like all of that stuff and you just move through the city meet Gregory and yeah just so many houses so many areas and oh yes so you need to oh wow that's kind of very well hidden that's pretty cool so you need to walk here yeah right now I remember all right so as you can see very cool and we have a little area to just go down here so of course this is a map that kind of more looks cool we don't have spawners or stuff like that like we had in the last one we checked out um what was that anyways we do not have that but we do have uh, i do believe we have kind of like ai nodes and stuff like that maybe we don't let's just check a little bit how they'll interact not that it tells me too much but oh man okay nah, never mind um so it's of course not like the ravenholm it's the fresh version and um i guess it can be a good experience to just walk around and get lost um other than that it's not the building map um it's not the map you're getting very good performance because it's kind of a lot of buildings but it's still pretty good i guess most ish modern computers will have no problem at all it's just if you have a real real old potato thing um it's pretty large so any case that's basically it um have fun in nice version of ravenholm and uh well check it out link in the description very good but not so useful but still very very nice can we kind of i remember there was some kind of line walk thing ish this would man one could really remake this to some super cool parkour map too oh well that's it for this time so if you like this video please leave a like and uh, do stay tuned for future wednesday map reviews this is your host jim Odism, and we are signing out so see you next time bye bye <laughs>